Let's start by installing SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm just going to search for SSMS download. And near the top, there should be a link for download SQL Server Management Studio from Microsoft. So SQL Server Management Studio is an application that lets you talk to databases. It's not a database itself um, because we're going to be running a database at cisdbss.pcc.edu, i.e. PCC is going to be running the database, and you're going to be connecting to the database using SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, and here's the link for no previous version installed on the computer. And this will take a few minutes to download depending on the speed of your internet connection. Now, um, one other note, if you're not on Windows, then you're not going to be able to run SQL Server Management Studio, but there are a couple of alternatives that will work pretty well for you. Okay, so that's finished downloading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show in folder and SSMS setup ENU. I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And I'm going to click the install button. And this will take a little while as well. Okay, so that was part one. And now I guess I have to restart my computer. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up again right after the restart. Okay, so we're back after the restart. Let's go ahead and see if SQL Server Management Studio runs. And should be Visual Studio 2017. Nope, I'm sorry. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server Tools 17. And there it is, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 17. And it's starting up. That's a good sign. We're updating some components. Okay, so here it is. And it should pop up a login dialog in a minute. Yep, there it is. So here are the credentials you need. Um, so server type should be database engine. The server name, cisdbss.pcc.edu. And that's a virtual machine that we run on Sylvania campus. So in authentication, you want SQL Server authentication, but let's just look at the options for a second. So you also have Windows authentication, which is what you would use if you were connecting to a SQL Server instance running on your local machine or on your local network um, using Microsoft Windows authentication. And uh, we're going to use SQL Server authentication, which is an industry standard. For the login, you want to use 275 student. And then the password is exactly the same. Same spelling, same capitalization, and so on. 275 student. And I'm going to go ahead and remember the password. Um, connect. So it's connected to the database. And uh, I'll show you some of the tools that you can use in the next video. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit New Query. And this creates an editable text window that I can save as a file. And uh, first command is use, um, let's go ahead and use names. And then select top 50 star from all data, semicolon. And let's go ahead and execute this command. And we get back some results. 
and that means everything is working.